From Fortune, we're starting to feel the global ripple effects of China's property crisis. Chinese investors and their creditors are putting up for sale signs on real estate holdings across the globe as the need to raise cash amid a deepening property crisis at home trumps the risk of offloading into a falling market. The prices they get will help finally put hard numbers on just how much trouble the wider industry is in. The worldwide slump triggered by borrowing cost hikes has already wiped more than one trillion off office property values, but the damage is still unknown because so few assets have been sold, leaving appraisers with little recent data to go on. Completed commercial real estate property deals globally sank to the lowest level in a decade last year, with owners unwilling to sell buildings at steep discounts. Now, a new batch of overseas assets acquired in a decade-long Chinese expansion spree are starting to hit the market as landlords and developers decide what they want to cash now to shore up domestic operations, pay off debts, even if that means taking a financial hit. Beijing's crackdown on excessive borrowing has left few developers unscathed, even those once considered major players. A unit of Gongzong-based China Ayin Group, for example, which is in the middle of a $6 billion debt restructuring plan, sold a plant in Toronto at about a 45% discount to the 2021 purchase price last year. Quote, with motivated sellers, the market freeze could thaw, improve transparency and price discovery, said Tolo Alamoto, a credit analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence. Portfolio valuations may have further to fall. Well, so far, there has only been a trickle of Chinese-owned sales in Europe. Last year, a London office building linked to Shamul Group Holdings, Chairman Wing Mai Hai, sold for about a 15% discount to an earlier sale agreed in 2022 that did not close, according to a person with knowledge of the matter. The volume is starting to grow again. Just this week, distressed developer Guangzhou RNF Properties Company agreed to sell its stake in a 1.34% billion or 1.69 billion US dollar property project in London's Nine Elms district in return for some of its dollar bonds and 10 pence. While an office block in Canary Wharf is selling for 60% less than it sold for in 2017 after it was seized by lenders from Chinese investors. The sales are part of a rebound in disposals after some developers paused for breath last year while working on restructuring plans. Sales are picking up outside Europe too, including Australia. Only a few years ago, ambitious Chinese developers were major players in the local market. Now most have largely stopped buying and have pivoted instead to offloading projects. Notable recent disposals include the sale by Country Gardens Risland unit of a site on the outskirts of Melbourne for a 163 million US, according to local media. The company has also recently divested its Sydney development asset for about 240 million Australian dollars, according to another local media report.